Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am excited today to do a video that it is a tote bag review. So I actually have quite a few uh, different tote bags that I have accumulated over the years and I just wanted to talk about my favorites, um, give you guys a little bit of perspective on, you know, how it may or may not suit your lifestyle, tell you about, you know, my lifestyle and how I use these bags. And I'm just a big handbag enthusiast. Uh, so hopefully this will be the first of several different videos where I'm looking at my collection and sharing my collection with you and giving you my thoughts on, um, you know, what to look for. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I post all different kinds of content on this channel. I am a wife to a luxury real estate agent in Los Angeles. I'm a mother to two children, one that is social distance learning this year and the other one who homeschools part-time. I am a scientist, former college professor, a social entrepreneur. I have a very busy and eventful life. On this channel, you will find a variety of things uh, that hopefully may interest you, but a consistent thread is fashion and travel. And so I am going to share with you today some of my favorite tote bags, tote bags that you could uh, use for work. Um, whether you're in a corporate environment or in a creative job, I feel like I kind of split the difference. Um, I have worked in environments that are maybe more traditional as an academic, as a college professor for almost a decade, but I've always thought of myself as a person who's creative. So I've always dressed more like a creative, I think, than a person who's more corporate. So. So no matter who you are, this video should speak to you because tote bags are life, let's face it. Whether you are a student and you are hauling uh, books back and forth to campus, whether you are employed and you're running up and down with your laptop or your legal briefings or whatever it is that you're doing, or whether you're a mom and you're just like carving around your entire life with you, tote bags are so versatile um, and there's so many great beautiful options that are very well constructed that can still reflect a lot of your personality that can still be luxurious that can still be elegant and fun so i'm going to share with you all of the different ones that i have in my collection that i think touch on all of those things and i use in all of those different ways use them for work for travel uh, for running around town as a mom uh, all of it all right, so one other thing I wanna throw in about this collection is that it is an evolving collection. It has taken me a lot of time to accumulate all of these bags, you know. So wherever you are, you may be ahead of me in your collecting, you may be behind me in your collecting, but I just wanna encourage everyone that it is a process. It's a process to pick out the things that you like, that you feel really truly reflect you, that um, match and align with your lifestyle. Uh, so this is kind of a reflection of many, many years of hard work and self-discovery. <laughs> And so that's what we're looking at today. Yes, so I'm trying to make this video. I've got all kinds of people running around. Oh my gosh, your phone is so pretty. You have everything? Yes. Not yet. I'm actually recording. Let's get this back up so that I can get ready. Yeah, I think it turned out great. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Alright. You're interrupting my video again. I think for each one of these bags, I'm going to talk about what could be maybe a con to each bag, but talk about ultimately why I like each one of these bags and what the positive element is for me that kind of tips this bag over the top and makes it a favorite and a keeper for me. So I think what might make sense is to kind of go from um, the least expensive to the most expensive in terms of uh, this, the order, the sequence of this uh, presentation. So I think I'm gonna start with this one. And I can't even remember the exact price points for every single one of these bags, but I'm going to do kind of an approximation. Uh, so this is Tangaroa. This is an Italian uh, leather company. This is a beautiful bag. So um, as promised, I want to talk about like maybe what are the pitfalls to selecting something like this. Um, I think what I would say is that this bag is a little professional. So I feel like um, it is not as versatile as some of the other bags that I have, but there's a time and a place for a bag that reads straightforward professional 
Um, as I mentioned, I was a college professor for almost a decade. I love taking this bag to campus. Uh, it's not a super structured bag. You can see that the bag has some sag, but that was okay for me as a professor in that environment. It, it's not like I was a corporate attorney where I was trying to look, you know, super sharp, um, <laughs> sharp edges all the time. Uh, I didn't teach in a law school. So I love that the inside of this bag has this really vibrant red color and it also has um, these great compartments to just keep things organized on its own. It's got a flap, it's got a place for pens, um, an extra zip pocket here. So just very functional. It also has a, a pocket on the back. The stitching is just beautiful. It has a red uh, stitching detail. The zipper is super strong. Um, I just added a little twilly for a little touch of femininity because this is kind of an androgynous bag. It works for me because I kind of have a little bit of a street style sensibility at times. I was in Manhattan in New York for seven years prior to moving out to LA. So even though I can play it really hyper feminine, I also kind of appreciate and can get down with that urban style. Uh, so I like that little bit of androgyny. Um, it has these great feet underneath and you can even see this red stitching detail that came out here, just beautiful. And I've had this a really long time and I really, really used it up and down around campus and everything. It has a really nice strap that's very sturdy and a very long drop and I'm very tall. So I appreciate uh, the long drop there. So, you know, it also helps to balance out things that are quite heavy. The bag itself is a little bit heavy, but you can just tell it's just a quality leather. So the leather itself has some weight and durability to it. So a bag like this, I really recommend um, because it's very highly functional for real workplace environments. So I would be carting my laptop in here, uh, papers, essays that I was grading up and down, uh, reading materials and different kinds of books, textbooks that I was reading to prepare myself for lectures. So I, you know, will probably keep this bag for a long time because it really symbolizes uh, in my own mind, I have all of these great memories. It symbolizes me as a professor and as a lecturer, and I just feel like um, it has a sentimental spot in my mind. All right, so my next bag is this beautiful bag by Valentino. Um, it is a large top handle bag that I'm classifying as a tote bag as well. Um, it has the top handle, but it also has a long strap, which makes it really great and versatile. I love the gold hardware on this. The drawback is that the bag started creasing, as you can see on one side. So um, this was meant to be a very structured bag. It didn't keep its shape as well as I would have liked, but I still love this bag and still use it quite often. I just feel like the gold hardware is so bold and beautiful, but it's still um, quite a bit subtle. It just says, you know, made in Italy Valentino, and then it has this little placard there. But unless you're really kind of all up in my Kool-Aid, you don't even really know what it says. Uh, inside it just has a nylon lining that's a light color. I have a bag organizer in here as well um, but it has a, um, a zip pocket and a couple of other pockets for your phone and other things in here and um, I have just really adored this bag. It's great to have a standard black bag. It's good to have different options. Um, this one, I think, plays a bit more sassy than the other bag. Um, I can still keep my laptop in here. I probably have just overstuffed it with books and things, and that's kind of what's led to uh, this little bit of a deformation. So maybe this wouldn't be an ideal bag to take to work if you actually have a lot of really big uh, or bulky items, as I did when I was going. Um, but now it's just become a little bit more of a casual option for me because of the way that it's worn. So it's just kind of an elevated bag for simple days. Like if I'm going, you know, with the family to lunch somewhere, this would be the perfect bag to take because I can drop in, you know, some of the kids stuff, their tablets or whatever. It holds quite a bit of stuff. I can have my own things uh, with me. It's a good bag to have for that reason. But um, another one that I think is quite lovely and for the price point, it's a really good investment. The leather feels uh, fantastic. And you know, I would just encourage you to probably store it a little bit better uh, than I did and be mindful of what you put inside.
Okay, so the next bag is actually coming from this side. And this is this camo bag from Coach that I got a couple of seasons ago. Now, you have probably heard me say it before in other fashion videos. I will say it over and over again. I feel that Coach is one of the most underrated leather goods company uh, that are out there. I love their shoes. Um, I actually picked up this bag in the Coach men's store, <laughs> but I really love camo print. I wear a lot of camo print, uh, really pretty like ponchos and um, I have silk camis that are in camo. So I just thought that this was a very uh, lovely compliment to some of those things to mix it up. Like I said, I love my streetwear style on occasion. So this is another really great bag that has held up beautifully and perfectly and it has you know this big larger front compartment it has a long strap it can be worn with the handles uh, like this I love the fact that it has um, you know the traditional camel colors with the black so I can wear it with black but it also has this beautiful uh, brown color that uh, makes it a little bit more versatile in my opinion um, on the inside, it has a nylon lining and it has a divider right in the middle and there isn't much in here except hand sanitizer that's like in everybody's bag uh, these days and a couple of pencils. But um, I also take this bag besides taking it to work. Um, I have used this for travel. I have used this to just run to the park with the kids, uh, throw some snacks in there. Um, I have taken this for out for lunch with girlfriends. I have taken this uh, to our tennis club when I just am gonna have a change of clothes. So very, very versatile bag. I feel like it can go to the office. It can go um, to much more casual uh, settings and environments. Sometimes I even use this as a shopper. So we're out to the mall and you know, I, I just take a, a big, large bag with me for the day. Love, love, love this bag. And I think the uh, price point was pretty fair. Um, probably somewhere between $500 and $800. Okay, so somewhere around that similar price point, I have another standard black bag that I got from Gucci. Um, and I really, really like this bag as well because it's very simple and very understated. It is also uh, designed with quite a bit of give. Again, I am a little bit rough and tumble on my tote bags because I do tend to carry a lot of things. I've got two kids, they are carrying snacks, they are carrying devices, I've got my phone, I've got the hand sanitizer, I've got books that I'm reading. Uh, you know, at the time, if I'm going back and forth to work, I often have, you know, papers and different things associated with that. So you can see I have a um, bag organizer in here, but this has got a lot of space. It can hold a large laptop. All of these bags can hold uh, my large uh, MacBook Pro. So I, that has been no problem. Oh, this didn't really come with it. I actually got this uh, as a gift from Jason of Beverly Hills, but I just like the red. I thought it put a little pop and I thought it's cute that it says mine. So I'm using it as a bag of charm, even though it's really a luggage tag. Um, but this is another bag that's very well made. The straps are nice. It distributes the weight nicely over my shoulder. So far, um, I don't really have too many complaints about any of the straps for the bag that I've shown you thus far. I would say the best option is the coach bag because it has a very broad strap, which makes it uh, you know, much easier to um, manage on your shoulder, especially if you have a lot of things in there weighing it down and making it heavy. But I like this bag because it's just extremely versatile. So you can take it to an office environment and look extremely professional. You can take it on a, day, a girl's day out and also uh, be fine. I've used this as carry on uh, as we're traveling. And so that it also works well in that capacity. It's also just a nice standard leather bag that cleans up really well uh, if I'm just out you know, at the park with the kids. So this is another one that I love and highly recommend, largely because of the versatility. The only drawback I might say is that, again, it's not super highly structured, so you do get a little bit of that wear, but I think that it actually complements this bag in this case.
All right, so the next bag is the classic never full and you know i watch reviews and i feel like people have so many things to say about the never full and they try to make the suggestion that maybe it's basic and i'm just going to tell you guys it is basically fabulous that's what it is um it is a very very well made bag i think um at the store they told me that it could carry like hundreds of pounds quite true it is such a durable bag such a useful bag based on the size alone. So I have the large size, um, the GM here. I adore it. The brown color is fantastic. It goes with all of my uh, browns and creams and I even love to wear it with black. I would just say, you know, if I had to pick a single tote bag to carry, it probably would be a Neverfull and I actually like the Monogram Neverfull. Some people don't uh, really care for it. Maybe it seems like it's a little bit in your face, but I love uh, the original Monogram. It's fun for me. I have a couple of other Monogram pieces. I like to build them out to carry them like on trips. I'll take this one. I'll take a Manhattan with me. Um, I have the, this one came with a small pouch. I also have the Neverfull and the uh, Azure, but I, um, got this so long ago that it didn't have the small pouch with it but it's also very lovely i have a speedy so this also complements my speedy you know if i'm traveling for a brief trip maybe to palm springs or maybe um to vegas which is really easily accessible from where we are in la i might take a couple of the pieces together to kind of build out a like a luggage set for myself i do hope to get uh the duffel uh, for to match this one too because I think that would be really nice to kind of have them all together but this is the most functional bag I know again people there's a lot of chitter chatter about whether or not it's elegant enough or blah 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 but for a mom on the go for a working woman uh, this is just a really super solid bag because there is nothing that you cannot fit in here I feel like Mary Poppins pulling out all my stuff um, there's just no boundary there's no end to what I can get into this bag and the quality level is there um, even as it starts to wear you know like I have a nice patina on this uh, I think it just looks more uh, fun and authentic and uh, I totally encourage it. I say you can never really go wrong with this. There's a reason why so many people have this bag. It just speaks to the versatility. It is a bag that I have taken with me to campus. It is a bag that I have taken with me to uh, different kinds of meetings. It is a bag that I have taken to the pool. It's a bag that I've taken for travel. It is a bag that I've taken to the playground. Like this is probably, out of all of these bags, the most used bag and durable bag that I have. So. Uh, definitely strong review for this one. All right, so the next set of bags that I want to talk about are my Goyard St. Louis. Um, I have a love, I guess kind of love-hate relationship with these bags. I have these, they came in such beautiful prints and such beautiful colors, but I will say I don't feel like the durability is really there for the price point. What you'll see is you'll see these bags really start to wear down, especially around the corners and the edges over time. Um, it is a big bag, it holds quite a bit of stuff. Uh, it comes with this small pouch, which is very, very useful because I like to have little bags that can conceal things that you just don't necessarily want everyone to be able to see or where you can stick money and you feel like it's safe and secure. Um, I guess that's something I should talk about. Pretty much all of these bags are open on the top, so that can be a security issue, but it also, um, on the flip side, can just make accessibility that much more easy if you are a mom and you're trying to reach in and grab things or have your kids, you know, grab something for themselves, like hold their sweater out of your bag. Um, so yeah, the trade-off with the Goyards are, they're just a super lovely, super cool vibe. The bags are gorgeous. Um, I have them in a couple of different colors. I also have it in a kind of like a bubblegum pink color. Um, 
Love these bags, but the durability isn't necessarily there. So I would say if you are going to be starting out your collection and only picking one or two things, I would not necessarily encourage you to have this at the top of your list. Although I do love them, although I could see myself getting them even in additional colors, this is the real honest feedback uh, on these ones. They can't be every day, um, you know, working hard for you on a daily basis. All right, and then my final one is the DeVille. I just have this other box in here that I use to help it maintain its shape because it does not have um, a stiff form at all. But this is a beautiful bag as well. I love this bag. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I do feel like the canvas fabric does tend to make it feel, um, you know, a little less wintry or fallish, the color that I've chosen, this kind of gray color. I don't find it to be as versatile as I believed it would be transitioning through the seasons. That said, I mean, I'll wear what I want when I want. Unfortunately, I live in Los Angeles, so um, the weather, uh, the seasons are not a factor on the same level as like on the East Coast when I was in New York, for example. Um, this bag is also a little bit um, just delicate in the stitching, like if you aren't careful, you can snag uh, where there's this embroidery. Uh, but that said, you know, the jewelry is beautiful. It's got that top handle. You have this other option to wear it in another way. It's a little bit awkward because um, these handles can get in the way of the top handle. But I'm just being extremely nitpicky. At the end of the day, this is a gorgeous bag. I love this bag in the summer in LA in particular. It's great for garden parties. Um, I have taken it to, uh, you know, our the tennis club where we swim, I, you know, to that kind of environment. I feel like it just gives me a luxe summer or spring vibe. So uh, that's how I tend to carry this one. I'm a little bit more sensitive because it is so expensive and I've got small kids, so I don't pull it out as much as I would like, you know, some of the other ones. Like I said, like this, this is just uh, extremely durable for children. The leather is just easy to wipe off, the same uh, with the other pattern and print. This one, not so much. I'm a little bit more like, uh, you know, <laughs> when it comes to uh, taking care of it because obviously, it is uh, such an expensive bag, but really lovely. I do think um, depending on the kind of work environment that you're in, it's not gonna play very corporate. But again, if you are in a creative space or if you just pretend that you're in a creative space, as I did when I was a college professor, uh, this is the kind of bag that I would take and just make people deal with it. It would be a little bit disruptive to the professional culture, but you know, again, in academia, it's kind of a place where you can toe the line. So depending on where you work, um, this is something that you may or may not be able to get away with as a bag, as a corporate or professional bag for you. Um, but outside of work environment, it is just a gorgeous, lovely bag. It comes in so many gorgeous, beautiful colors. Uh, just like I said, it's expensive and um, I'm grateful to have one in my collection, but it will probably take me a minute before I get another one uh, in my collection um, in another color or anything like that. But I like this gray um, uh, color that I've chosen with the black detail and the silver. I wear, I go back and forth between silver and gold, so that works out well for me. Um, yeah, I, I really love this bag. All right, you guys, so those are literally all of my favorite tote bags, all of the ones that I have out now for fall and winter season that I'm trying to make work into my wardrobe right now. Um, if there are some other really great ones that you have in love that I haven't included here that you think I should check out, you know, I know some people really love the Valentino one, um, just let me know because, you know, it's always fun to check them out and see how my collection can uh, grow and evolve over time. But thanks so much for watching.